जय गुरुदेव डियर स्टूडेंट्स चिल्ड्रन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स चेंजेस अराउंड अस एंड इन दिस चैप्टर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू इन द लास्ट क्लास अबाउट द रिवर्सिबल चेंजेस इिवर्सिबल चेंजेस स्लो चेंजेस फास्ट चेंजेस एंड फिजिकल चेंजेस एंड केमिकल चेंजेस ओके सो आफ्टर दैट वी वर स्टडिंग अबाउट द एक्सपेंशन एंड कॉन्ट्रेक्शन सो इन दिस टॉपिक आई हैव गिवन यू सम एग्जाम्पल्स थ्रू द एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू दैट टाइम अबाउट दीज टू टर्म्स एंड वी हैव स्टडीड एक्सपेंशन एंड कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इन केस ऑफ सॉलिड्स लिक्विड्स एंड गैसेस three states of matter so today there are there are some more examples given in your book so let's read out that also as well as i'll explain you so first of all fixing the iron rim on the wooden wheel of a cart this example also in short we have read in the previous pages and i i have explained you also but here they have given with a diagram and in little bit detail so let's read in earlier days when wooden wheels were used in vehicles like horse carts or bullock carts means tonga or and some kind uh, some uh, like that kind of uh, vehicles the wheels were fitted with iron rims to increase the strength you know that if we use only wooden wheel then wood after some time wooden wheel can be broken down but on that wheel people used uh, this kind of metallic rim okay iron rim so this rim they fit on the uh, this on this wheel so that its strength can be increased means it can work for a long time so people were using in earlier days this kind of arrangement so in this method also we can see expansion and contraction how let's see the iron rim were made slightly smaller than the diameter of the wheel but on heating the expanded iron ring used to expand to fit wooden wheel on cooling with cold water the ring would again contract to fit the wooden wheel tightly now children here what they were doing they were making this iron ring size of iron ring little bit smaller than this wheel because here is a uh, means groove they made on that wheel there is a groove and on that groove means in this groove they had to fit this rim so what they does you know this um uh, this uh, met- metallic um, uh, rim or uh, this structure is made up of iron okay so iron is a solid so solids can expand by heating first they heat them uh, they heat this rim and after heating when it expands little bit that time the expanded rim they used to put on this wheel and after putting on this wheel what they does they uh, used to cool this rim by putting water on it 
so that this rim will fit tightly on this wooden wheel okay so this thing they mentioned here in this paragraph that here also people were using this technique or this method of contraction and expansion so this is example this is the example of wheel and rim now after this next example is to avoid accidents due to disarrangement of rail tracks this example i have given to you when i explained the chapter on board you know that i uh, i have made this arrangement also drawn on the board and i have explained you means you must have seen uh, the gap between the railway tracks here just like here they have shown that between two railway tracks there is a little bit gap they maintain the gap why they maintain the gap between these two railway tracks because you know that during summer season or when uh, train moves that time these iron structures or we can say rails to these so these iron rails they showed expansion so because of expansion they expand little bit and they come near to each other and if we not keep this gap if we not maintain this gap then what will happen they overlap to each other and accident can happen so to avoid accidents they maintain this gap between two rails and after cooling down again they contract and they um, means maintain this ga gap okay and that's why this ki kind of spacing is there to avoid accidents so this is one of the example means here in your book they have given daily life examples so that you can understand the process of expansion and contraction and here one more example is there liquids also expand on heating a mercury thermometer works on the principle of expansion of liquids children this kind of thermometer if it is available at your home you can see that here in this part of thermometer this is called bulb of thermometer and in this part uh, some uh, silvery material is filled which is called mercury it is a metal which is uh, always remain liquid in state so as we put this bulb under uh, means keep this uh, thermometer bulb under our tongue then this metal start moving upwards and shows us the reading different uh, markings are given here you can easily see on the thermometer and this liquid expand by the heat of our body okay so this how much this this liquid expands it shows that this is the correct temperature of the body of patient when you go to doctor doctors also checking in this way and at home also we can check our body temperature with the help of this kind of thermometer also this is clinical thermometer okay so it is called mercury thermometer because mercury is filled here so it is also working on the basis of expansion of liquids so here let's read mercury in the thermometer expands on coming in contact with a hot body and rises in the tube thus showing the temperature of the body okay so whatever i have explained you that is written here after this 
कार इंजन कूलेंट दिस वेन यू आस्क योर मदर मदर और फादर अबाउट द कार इफ कार इज देयर एट योर होम यू कैन सी क्लियरली दैट कूलेंट इज वन काइंड ऑफ लिक्विड और वी कैन से फ्लूड विच वी यूज इन आर कार इंजिन ओके एंड देर इज अ स्मॉल टैंक इन विच वी यूज to put this coolant this coolant always keep the engine cool while our car is working so whenever we use this coolant and we put this coolant in our car children we leave little bit space here you can see here here they have uh, they are showing that this is uh, a can of coolant and they put in the car and when we fill this coolant in this tank small tank then we not fill up to the margin or up to the cap level okay we leave some place there because when our car is working then our engine car engine becomes hot and with the heat of that engine this coolant also get expansion or it gets expand that's why it can spill out of the this can okay so to prevent that spilling or it should not come out from this can we maintain some uh, we leave some uh, gap between them or we leave some empty space in them okay so about that they have given here a coolant is added to the car radiator to keep the engine cool while running if the radiator is filled up completely with a coolant then with the in with an increase in temperature with engine's heat it would lead to expansion of the coolant causing spill okay whatever i have explained you that thing only they shown because with the heat of our car or our car engine it can also expand and it can come out from this tank so that's why we give some space to expand the liquid okay we should not fill full up to the cap level so next is expansion in gases when the gas inside the hot air balloon is heated it expands the particles in the gas move freely upon heating as the gas in the hot air balloon expands it rises up remember that gases expand more than liquids this thing also children i have already told you that gases always expand most or uh, less than gases liquid expand and less than liquid solids can expand means solid expand least okay and more than solid liquids can expand and more than liquid gases can expand so expansion we can see in case of gases so much so here hot air balloon children you uh, you must have uh, seen in the movies or in the tv many times this is the hot air balloon and it also works with the principle of expansion in in gases because here uh, when they use to heat those gases or when mm, gas inside the hot air balloon is heated up that time gas start expansion and molecule expand quickly and fastly so with the expansion of those ga gas molecules this hot air balloon start moving upward or it rises up so it is also one of the example of expansion in case of gases 
इफ यू फिल एयर इन अ बास्केटबॉल इन समर एंड इन विंटर द एयर इनपुट वेरीज एज द स्पेस अक्यूपाइड बाय एयर वेरीज इन समर्स द एयर एक्सपैंड एंड द बास्केटबॉल कैन बी फिल्ड विद लेस एयर एज कंपेयर टू दैट इन विंटर्स चिल्ड्रन हियर वट दे हैव शोन दैट एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड हियर दैट गैस मॉलिक्यूल्स दे एक्सपैंड मोर ओके एंड दे एक्सपैंड फास्टर विद द हेल्प ऑफ हीट so here they have given example of basketball always in basketball or football we can say these kind of balls we fill air and when we fill air in winter air can fill less why because in winter air molecules which are filled inside we when we fill air we fill air always forcefully and with that pressure that um if cool weather is there then what what will happen gas gas molecules will not air molecule will not expand so much okay they show less expansion but this thing same activity if we do in case of summer they expand more because uh, with the heat or uh, there is a uh, hot weather present outside so when we uh, fill air in basketball or or football during summers there is less air filled inside why because in summers air is heated up and air molecule expand so much and they will fill the full space in between uh, means inside the balls these base uh, basketball or football so less air is filled in this case but more air is filled in case of winter okay so uh, children here they have given discussion corner why are electric wires are never tightly stretched between the poles children here they ask this question and uh, they ask us to discuss about this means why the electric wires always not stretched between the poles means they are not never stretched tightly because what will happen during cold weather these wires can contract okay due, uh, due to heat of sun Uh, or we can say in the weather changes we can uh, see during day time temperature is different and during night there is a, a little bit cool as compared to day so during the variation in temperature these electric wires show expansion and contraction when day time is there that time these wires shows expansion and if we stretch those wires between the poles then during the night time what will happen when they contract then poles can be uh, shifted or we can say poles can be tilted because of contraction of the wires so that's why they never tight or um, that a uh, tightly they never uh, fix those wires between the poles so after this children we will study about the chemical change in detail in the next video we will explain you uh, or we will discuss about the chemical change